introduction of the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and live forever. Here we go. I'm alive and I made it by the way back around to Thursday. What a time to be alive. You can call the number up there. It's 360-836-4384. Or you can go to YDHWM.com to get on the meet. Uh, it's over here on this thing. And, uh, you know, you know, you ever been on the meet before? You ever been on, you ever had meat, the meat? Like you live a life? What we're doing today, uh, living a life. Uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this thing. I'm logging into the meet. You can hear the sound when it goes ding, like this. There it is. Now I'm in the meet. Now you can get in the meet. Yours, if you want to. Uh, you can. If I want you, if you want me to, I will. Um, it's, oh, what the heck is going on? It's Friday, well, Thursday. It's Thursday and I'm, I'm made it. I made it all the way back here to Thursday. And really, who would have thought that I could have made it this far? Why is it doing this? Something's going weird. Something's weird with it. It should be... shouldn't be like, uh... The... 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 Hubba... Hubba... I'm trying to do the computer thing. Same time as this thing. Well, we'll get there over there. If anybody gets on the meet, then we'll start messing with that. But until then, we're going to do it over here and be in the now. Live in the now and not looking at that meat stuff. Um, you can, yeah, call the number. Some people did leave the, some messages today. And, uh, they did that. Yesterday, the program at, uh, 8.45. And, uh, we were talking to, I think, Freddie and James and Jesse, James's sister. That was yesterday, right? And uh, we were talking about condiments and James's family and family in general. And, you know, when we're meeting new people, James's sister. And uh, it, it, was, it was something. It was a life. It was a little bit of a life we we're doing yesterday. Living, living life, living a thing. I'm trying to get all... Oh, you can see that, huh? I'm try, trying, uh, trying to get the uh, this going in the while while I'm talking. I was like looking over here. I think you can see that thing. Connection not private. That doesn't seem like a good thing. I want to be private. I need my privacy. I demand it. I demand my privacy. Um, doing that thing after the program. I had a meeting with Steve Baker. And we're talking about the book and stuff, so that was something. That was one thing that we we're doing. Yeah, it, it was a pretty good time. Oh man, confusing. Computers are confusing me. Uh, I'm trying to get this thing going, so then I gotta look at this. It's like, how do I do this? Oh, there. See. See computer stuff. You ever done computer stuff before? Because I am doing it now. Trying to get it working. Trying to move this thing around on the. Uh, but it's it's hard. What the, heck? what the heck? Um. So after yeah, did the meeting with Steve Baker. Edited the book, did some talking, did some living, did some sleeping. I'm watching uh, Top Chef, like the old Top Chef, again. 
I've seen it a lot of times. But now I'm watching it. Uh, uh oh, no, no! Where is that coming from? Oh, jeez. We're getting advertised at. Oh, sorry, viewers. Where is that advertising coming from? I don't know. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know what's going on. Why am I being advertised at? I don't like that. Um. Uh, I went to sleep. Today I woke up. I went to work again. Even though there's a crazy pandemic. Uh, and now even crazier lockdown. I'm still going out there. Uh, and then I'm taping the mask to my face. I started putting a band-aid on my face. To, uh, like, the, the band-aid is supposed to, like, keep it, the mask more snug on my face, but then it's starting to fall off a little bit, so it's getting up and down. Things are getting a little weird with that. Alright, look at this. Look at this. Now, I'm going to do this under scan thing. There. There we go. Look at that. There, that's good. That's looking good. That's where we want to be. I'm right where I want to be now. Wow! Wow! So, this is what I'm looking like now. Uh, get on the thing. Get on the meat, viewers. What did I do, though? Yesterday. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. I'm trying to I'm trying. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? You forgive me? I'm trying to bring it over here. I'm trying to bring it over here so I can. Uh, I can get the the, the I can get this thing going on on the on the on the. Uh, on the, on this. Oh, I should have done this before. Should be saying things. I gotta get a, uh, somebody, somebody stop me. So, yesterday, and then I went to sleep, went to work today. I ride my bike to work. It's been raining a little bit. And, uh, it's been, yeah, raining. What else? Mostly rain. Mostly, uh, things. But I didn't really see that much. People are wearing masks. Some people are wearing those gaiters that go around your head. And that's not a good one. That's not a good one. You're not supposed to wear those gaiters on your head. You're supposed to, um, uh, you're supposed to keep your keep keep your your uh your masks on the regular masks the gators are worse than nothing maybe so when i see those people and you don't know what to say it's awkward to talk to her talk to them tell them to uh tell them to do the right thing but they don't they don't always want to do that they want to do other things Okay, I got it. I got it going. I got it going now. Let's listen to these messages. Looks like we got a couple messages from Mr. Ginsu and one from Gene. Gene. Oh. Oh, Laura's on, on here. Hello. Hello, Laura. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. Hi, how are you? Pretty good, how are you? Good. I was just about to listen to this message from Jean. I told Jean to tell you to come back. Yeah, she gave me the message. <laughs> yeah, how are you? <laughs> it's been months. Yeah, I, I've i been really busy this quarter. I'm taking a full full credit, full-time load. Full it's load. A lot. A lot of, uh, oh. lot of, uh, lot of class. Huh? What class is it? 
Um, a class about mythology and um, earth science, which is like a lot of geology, and then um, a p beginning piano class. Whoa, that's fun. You have a piano? What? You have a piano? I have a keyboard. Are you smart now? After going I to school? So. <laughs> yeah. Let me check. <laughs> yeah. When was the last time you were on the program? I don't even remember. Like around Halloween or something. No, way before that. Really? Yeah, I think it's been. I think it was. I would say August. Oh. That's that's a long time. I think it's been August. It's hard to tell. Time is getting weird. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do you know when it is? Yeah. Um, you you want to listen to this Gene message? I'm gonna call Gene. Here we go. Okay. Listen to it. What is Gene? Oh, there's a uh, some echoing going on. Oh, she probably has the YouTube on at the same no, time. No, oh, I think it's oh Gene's not here, but here, it's a message. Hello, program. Oh. This is Gene Squires. I just took a nap. I love naps. Yeah. Um, that's nice. And uh, that's because I worked an early shift. In I think the echo's house. coming from you. I moved things around. Mm -hmm. Dollies and pallets. Pallets. Oh, What's just, not just thing, left you know? Message oh, too. Oh. Loaded the truck. Yeah, I think can you turn the volume down. Turn the volume down. Turn your volume down. And Please echo. I yeah, I had an after curl on my neck. As sometimes happens. Um, I don't Is that better? Think I'll be awake at eleven forty-five. Yeah. Oh, now I can't hear you. I'm so glad to go. Can I use headphones? But, yeah, use headphones. I'd try to be awake, and then I would call you. I'll use headphones. Uh, Jean, Jean's tired. I don't know. Maybe we should uh, call her anyway. All right, let's call. Hello, program. I didn't. You didn't make it. I've got Laura Downing. Is that better, Kenny? Yeah. Hello. Oh. Hi, Jeannie. I'm listening to this message. Did you just? Did you? Did I? <laughs> did you sleep? Give me a call before I fall asleep. Oh, did I fall? Yeah, uh, I called you before you fell asleep. I'm trying right? to call you. Wait a minute. Whoops. <laughs> I did the wrong thing. You're Hello. Awake. You're awake, though, huh? Oh, you know. oh, oh, how about now? How about now? Hello. Hello. <laughs> I, yeah. Are you about to go to sleep? So, yeah. I'm so sleepy. And then I just keep itching my eye, and it's making it so itchy and red and puffy. It's making my nose run. Uh oh. Making the allergic reaction take over. You got you allergic to something? I think, yeah. What, what are you allergic to? You're say dust. Dust? That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. That's not a good thing to be allergic to. Dust is everywhere. Yep. The longer I live in a place, the more dust there is. Ridiculous. Dust is everywhere. You got if a duster? What do you do about that? I don't do very well with it. Yeah, I should have a duster. Doesn't it seem like a duster is just going to fluff it up into the air so it fluffs down another place? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how dusters work. Where does the dust go? Yeah. <laughs> That's a I mystery. Maybe, uh, having a damp cloth is probably best. Where is all the dust? I don't see any dust. Like I'm looking at things that I don't think I've touched in a long time, and there's no dust on them. That's good. How long does That's dust? Take? How long does dust take? <laughs> I wonder if in the basement there's not a lot going on down there. Not all that airflow to fluff up dust. You need the airflow? I would think that lack of airflow would create dust. 
Well, then where is it going to come from? It's come from, I guess, skin and stuff. Yeah, it's just you that's done this, right? Or? But if dust comes from skin and then you always go to, like, a place that's been abandoned and then there's dust in there, that's not skin. No, I don't <laughs> think dust is usually skin. <laughs> what is it, then? Uh, hair. Hair? <laughs> <laughs> no. Tiny <but> cut up hair. <laughs> finely chopped hair, but it's like a powder. Hmm. Yeah. I guess maybe I'm... it's just small pieces of the earth. The small, small pieces. Like set sand. Well, nope, smaller. <laughs> so small, they float. It's really small sand. Dust. I don't know what dust is. Or maybe it's bacteria. Is it mm -hmm. bacteria? Like lots of bacteria. No. No. It's particles of whatever. It's skin. It's like dangerous. <laughs> hmm. Can you hear me, Kenny? Yeah. Me too. Is that, did you. the echo go away? Yeah, the echo has gone away. I can hear you. Oh, good. It's all working. Yay. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, what are you gonna do, Gina? You gonna, you want, are you sleepy? You gonna stay awake? Uh, I'll stay awake a little bit longer now that I made it. I'm so proud. How's Phil? He's on my belly right now. Hmm. He's very well. How's the, how's yeah. the bees, Laura? Let's see, last time I talked to her, I think we are talking about bees, so I was like way in the summertime. Oh, that's right. Um, the nest is still there, but the bees are hibernating in there. Yeah, and you're just leaving it? Mm -hmm. You're outside your window? Well, the landlord didn't do anything about it. They know about it. <laughs> and then they just I had to leave the one window closed all summer because... Because the bees? The bees would come in if I opened it. And and now I have squirrels. Did, you, did I tell you about that, Jean? I have yeah. um, squirrels in the walls because what? they chewed a hole in the um, the deck, the from the deck above mine into the wall of my apartment building, yeah. and the, I can hear them in there sometimes. Mm -hmm. And they run, they run all over the screen door of my slider. <laughs> the walls like rats, huh? Squirrels, yeah. I never, Same heard, idea. I never heard of squirrels going getting into the walls. That sounds like rat stuff. Well, they are rodents too. Uh, yeah. Squirrels are rodents oh, too. Yeah, they're fewer than rats, so we, we accept them. Are they? Are you sure it's not rats, though? Yeah, I'm sure. That's. I can tell it was squirrels because they were all over my deck too. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Is it a pest? What are you gonna do? The the apartment management um is trying to figure out something to do about it. I think they're trying to get them out of there in a humane way, but they might not do that. Like, they're kind of at their wit's end about it. I've never heard of rat or of squirrels being pests, like rats. Yeah. Like, I know, neither have I. I'm going to call, call the exterminator and <laughs> be like, I got squirrels. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. that's, that's cute. That's <laughs> cute. <laughs> it's like if they're cute, if they're cute enough, it's like I'll oh, let them in the walls. They're gonna eat. Like, what do rats do? What do rats do that's so bad? Like, how come you don't want rats? Cause they poop? The disease or like? What is this? Cause they're just like they can gnaw on wires. Yeah. I think they broke someone's car. 
by the iron wires. I'm kind of afraid that the rats are going to die in the wall. Yeah. Mm. Yes, that no. happens sometimes. And then you, it's real nasty. So maybe the squirrel, hopefully the squirrels won't die in the walls too, but uh... Yeah. Is it getting weird? Is wildlife getting weird because of the, the <laughs> like the shutdowns and stuff? Maybe they're, they're <laughs> somehow affected. I don't know. We have a lot of squirrels in the in the green belt behind my apartment building. I'm sure that's where they came from. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, rats are just, like, totally disturbing. If you have rats, it's just like, oh, no rats. But squirrels is confusing. Yeah. I like, <laughs> yeah. I like squirrels, but I don't want them in the walls, I guess. They're kind of aggressive. You know, they, really? they're usually, they can they're, be. Usually they're scared of people. Yeah. What was that move? What, what are they doing? Uh -oh. What are they doing that's aggressive? Well, the apartment management tried to close the hole that they were getting in through. And they chewed through it again and got back in there. And like a couple times. Oh. You're like patching it shut and then they chewed it. Yeah. Through. They really like it in there. Oh, Gene commented on the YouTube, huh? Uh, I guess it's warm. It's warm in the walls. Yeah, they want to hibernate in there. They want to spend the winter. I don't know why I've never heard of this before. It seems like if they were even able to do that, that they'd be doing it all the time. Well, usually I was reading about it online, and usually if you have squirrels in your house, they're in the attic. Oh. But for whatever reason, they were able to get in the walls this time, and um, there you go. Why did they put they put their nuts in the walls? So they really want yeah. to in there. Oh, okay. I can't do it. I gotta go to sleep now. Oh, uh, good night, Jean. So, good night, Jean. Good night. Good night. Thanks so, for um, calling. Be a bit of have fun. Yeah. Yeah. If your uh, walls are full of nuts. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know. I want to get the stash. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of nuts are you getting anyway? What do squirrels eat other than nuts? Because they can't eat, there's not that many nuts. Bugs? I don't know. I guess so. I don't know. They're like, what, acorns? Like, uh, is there, acorns are from oak trees. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, you're getting text messages. Mm -hmm. But, um,. I don't know about any oak trees around here. Are there any oak trees around here? Some places, um, there's hazelnut trees. Mm, yeah. And, um, they, the trees around here have, like, pine cones. I don't know. Yeah, who can okay, eat pine cones? Those oh, hazelnut yeah. trees are good, though. I haven't seen those in years. I used to have one. On the west side, there's a lot of hazelnuts and you could pick them and you just eat them off the tree they're a little weird when they're fresh and you don't cook them they're kind of soft like beans yeah they're good huh i used to eat them when i was a kid we had a tree yeah yeah um mr gintu left some messages oh, okay it's gonna be crass probably but we'll listen to him anyway. <laughs> you know Mr. Ginsu? I remember he'd come on your show sometimes. Hey, what the fuck over? I uh, I heard about them, some dick boards and some people out there want to go cashless society by 2030? <laughs> I mean, 10 years cashless? Uh, hey, fuck you. I'll, split, I'll start splitting your fucking throat. 
Whoa. Motherfucker, you think you're going to touch my fucking money and not let me touch no money? <laughs> See, if you don't actually see the fucking money in your fucking hands, yeah. Yeah, that ain't going to work like for me. Cash, huh? Yeah. And being dying, man. You motherfuckers, you think that's going down is going to have problems. <laughs> motherfuckers. Mm. He's just getting out his tension, I guess. Mm -hmm. He's really attached to the cash. Some of the future movies, like in the movies that take place in the future, they always have credits or something. They call them creds. Like all on the cards and stuff, and it basically almost already is that. The money is so dirty, especially right now. Yeah. So maybe we should go uh, cashless. Like, I'll be fine with that. I'm pretty. I mean, I'm cashless right now. I haven't touched money in months. Oh really? Yeah, I'm not spending cash right now. I'm using the cards because of the. Uh, the virus. Because the virus. Yeah. yeah. Alright, here's the second mm. message and we'll try to call him back. So, not only were they talking about going cashless by 2030, they were, he said something about people not owning property. We're, the con we're getting taken over by communists? Is this what's happening? <laughs> Hey, fuck you. Whoever the fuck you are, fuck you. If you get into your core, you, you should ha be if happy about you that. You think I'm losing my property. You don't have any property. I'm killing people, whoever's in charge of that motherfucking <laughs> bullshit. And if I don't, well, that means I still got my property. And I still got my cash. You, you understand what I'm saying? Don't take my cash. <laughs> you really shouldn't have took my woman. <laughs> and I'm telling you, don't take my cash and don't take my property. What property? Or because you took my woman, <laughs> all three of us are coming, will come down to the fucking grand conclusion. <laughs> and you can figure that one out without me even saying shit. And if you can't, well, good for you. You're probably a communist. <laughs> God damn motherfucker. What the fuck? They really, like, trick people into thinking that... I don't even know what to fucking say anymore. Like, if you It might be the COVID. COVID stress. Yeah. Who knows? But if whatever they fucking said has any fucking inkling of truth, hey, fuck you, motherfucker. If you're unless you're rich, then you should be happy about this whole property thing because you don't have that. I have a property. bunch of shit I would want to say right about now, but yeah, we. It's like I don't know if that could be construed to something else. No, I won't poor, say it. I don't know. You should be just because I don't want to about... confuse. The little sheep. Fuck. You're happy about people taking your property because you don't have any prop. If people take <laughs> the property, then you get the property. Like, nobody's taking your property. Uh, you don't have any property. They're going to take it and give it to you. Or, like, take it from the r super rich and give it to you. Uh, I don't know if it's, like... I don't know, it's like McCarthyism or something, you know? Like, people are afraid of McCarthyism or something. But that was like, from like the 50s or the 40s or something, I think, right? Like, like who's afraid of commies at this point? That's like old timey. Yeah. But they trick, like, they trick the rich people or poor people into. Hello. How are you doing? Mr. Gintzy, are you asleep? Mm, almost. Uh, uh, you, you wanna go? I got up and I went outside. 
Come on, you want to you, you go back to sleep? You want to go to sleep? Mm, I do. I just tell you I went outside and I'm putting my coat on. Okay, you go and put your coat on. You want to be a uh, communist? <laughs> just a second. I'm putting my coat on. Is it red? <laughs> Oh my god. Um, yeah. People are so, they're, right now, it's like they're, everybody's like, they, they, people, some people say when they were like voting for Trump that they're afraid of socialism. They're like, why do you like Trump? They're like, it's not that I like Trump, it's I'm scared of socialism. It's like, what do you, <laughs> what do you, what is that about? You, you get your coat on, Mr. Ginsu? Yeah, I just get it. I hate um, you know, like, that you don't really have property. You're, like, worried about them taking away your property, but what property do you even have? Jimmy Christmas. Like, if they start taking property, then they're going to take it from, like, people with a lot of property and then give it to you, probably. Like, if we went commun... Like, unless you're, like, like middle or above, then you benefit from communism. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why? You, you want to give him a... Shut the fuck up. I'll kick you, you're kind of... Yeah. You fuck, bitch. You don't think you're, fuck like, at the end, at the bottom of the of the social circle for the, as far as that kind of thing goes? I, I know that whenever I went and got my fucking, uh, that hot juice stuffed in my arm... <laughs> what? <laughs> What? You, I told you I got hot juice stuffed hot, in my arm. Hot juice? Pepper fucking fucking bear spray fucking, what the fuck do you want from me? Okay, they, yeah, then what? That is, that would be considered the nicest fucking thing that would happen to me if I went to the hospital under communism. You think that if, they, that in, in the countries that give you... Healthcare that they give you poor healthcare? I can't imagine them giving a fuck about you. But so you had a bad experience with the current healthcare system, and that makes you yeah. think that the alternate healthcare system is bad. Even though the, the bad experience you had was the, was the oh, one that we had currently. It cannot be much better. I, I, well, it could be better. I don't know why you think that the one that we have currently... And, and, and saying what I just said... Yeah. I can never go there. Yeah. To the communist Because they'll kill me. The hospital will kill you? No. <laughs> just whenever I cross the border, they'll grab me up, fucking take me off. What, what, are you, what was your medical take issue my that you... I'm going to have to... Put my phone on the charger. Oh, okay. What What was your medical issue that required the hot juice? They had to put me in. I can't remember what the fucking actual deal was. Probably maybe going for that thing where you fucking uh, they go up your butt and check out your fucking <laughs> across the, the other side of your body with a camera. Well, you had a colonoscopy. There you go. <laughs> So, wait, what? <laughs> Why did they give you the hot juice, though? Wow. Uh, that's the thing that I'm fucking uh, talking about. Can you answer that question for me? For with, with any medical like, they give, terms they give that you, my brain will fucking understand. They gave you anesthesia to put you under, but the, the anesthesia hurt your arm? Just prior to that, what happens? Why did they, I think something went wrong. Anesthesia shouldn't hurt. Shouldn't you hurt. think something went wrong? Yeah. He fucking shoved bear spray in my fucking arm. But then after you That's got... That's what went fucking wrong. Then you went to sleep after that? Or whatever? Yeah. How's your colon? Fuck, <laughs> I know. They said it's fine. They looked in there? Did they give you That's the video? Nothing wrong with me. Did they give you the video? I didn't ask for no video. I was so pissed off about the bear spray. You, I haven't fucking been back. It's like I didn't laughing. go back to fucking get the news of what the fuck went wrong or what was good or like, bad or fucking indifferent. I didn't give a fuck. You're having like anesthesia.
anesthesia or hallucinations? No. There's no hallucinating nothing. What well, it's like so it's like they, they, they said like you're gonna go under and you're at the hospital and then they give you the shot that's supposed to make you sleep, but then it, the shot made your arm hurt. Oh, it was bear spray. Motherfucker. What I I told you I told you my phone's dying, I'm gonna go plug it in. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'll go plug it in and we'll see if you get cut off. Oh yeah, okay. If you get cut off, well that's the way it is. What's the benefit of them? Hurting you, like what? Well, see, then he gets down and come back and kick his fucking ass. <laughs> I get to go to, I get to go ask him if he wants to fight, and it's legal, and it's legal, and I won't get kicked out of the hospital. They'll just have to put up with me. You gonna go to the doc? You gonna go to the hospital and fight the doctor? <laughs> I'm gonna go to the hospital. I'm gonna say, hey, motherfucker, you wanna fight? Cause, uh, you used to have bear spray in my motherfucking arm. And I didn't much fucking appreciate it. I don't think the doctor. And anybody that fucking does that must fucking hate me and must wanna fight me. Therefore, let's fucking throw down. You think the doctor has something against you? The one particular guy, I guess he did not appreciate me. Were you, were, you, were you rude to Any him? Any kind of patient of his. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you rude to him? Why? why, why? No, I was not rude. They were so fucking lucky. If I was rude, I would have ripped the thing out of my arm, jumped up and kicked everybody's ass that was in the fucking room. What's the, um, <laughs> I don't know why the doctor would, would do that to you on purpose. Uh, he was either stupid and didn't understand that I was going to feel it, and or understood I was going to feel it, thought I was going to fucking forget it, uh, oh, it's sort of anything like that, nothing's happened to him yet, right? Yeah, did you... He's in my clan, he's in my clan, unless I see him in public, and then he's not going to know what the fuck happened. When, when, when was this? Hmm? When did this happen? I don't remember this happening. Well, I never told you. This was like a long time ago? No. When? Since I've been in Oregon. So it only the last few years? Were you sick? Well, I've been here for fucking three or four or five years. Yeah, did you get did you get sick? I or? can't remember. How many years have I been? I, I, don't, I don't know, know what the think... fuck happened. I just fucking... Uh, they said they recommend that, and this is my time, whatever, if I can, yeah, blah, 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 if I can, yeah. And they, fucking whatever, if I can get over with, fucking, yeah, so the, the, and then fucking got fucking pepper spray, to boot. So they put the pepper spray in your arm, but then you fell asleep, like, minutes later after that, right? Uh, about 45 seconds worth, or maybe a minute and 10, it's hard to say. It's really hard to fucking say whenever fucking shit, I wasn't really counting seconds. I've got... I was more looking at, I was more looking at the chick who was looking at me. Have you, have you ever, Laura's here too, have you ever gotten general anesthesia before? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And they, they give you, what was it, propothal? Did they give you the propothal, Mr. Ginsu? Like, I don't know what the, the fuck. The they gave me the fucking pepper spray. Did you fucking hear me, <laughs> asshole? Well, the purple thaw is like white. It looks like milk, kind of. No, they, uh, they didn't give me that shit. They gave me the fucking red, fucking hot, fucking pepper yeah. fucking spray. So, did you get the purple thaw? Was On the Calvin scale, I imagine it was about fucking hottest thing he could fucking find. Because I got which is bare fucking spray. I got general anesthesia when I got my wisdom teeth removed in 2016, and I got the propothal, which was the milk of amnesia, which was the stuff that Michael Jackson was using all the time. Mm. Oh, they didn't, you didn't use the bear spray? No, I I don't even remember like before. I don't even remember getting put under. Like I was. I kind of remember like showing up there, and then I like kind of remember waking up, but I don't remember the actual even being in there. Like, yeah, well, I remember exactly who the motherfucker it was. Yeah, have you seen? I, mean, the, like, I know exactly who the motherfucker it was, and that's he can't get away from that. Have you seen the videos yeah. where people get all tripped out though when they're on the anesthesia and they're having like hallucinations and stuff? 
Yeah, well, I wasn't doing that. You don't think so? I mean, they don't, you don't know. I was not doing that. Yeah? Not even when I woke up. Not doing that. Not even a fucking little bit. Laura's gone now. Laura, Laura fell off the meeting. Um, did you plug your phone in? Yes, I did. Okay. But, um... It's working. It's working. It's working. <laughs> wow. Inside. The, the, so, no more doctors, huh? So, yeah, like... But it was, it was, That's right. I'm never going to the doctor again. Because of 40 no, no, I don't fucking touch me with no fucking needle. Did you tell them? Like, after after you had it? Maybe 45 I, I left. Fucking paid the three thousand dollar bill wow. from the guy that gave me the fucking uh, bear spray. Uh, otherwise, they was gonna throw me in collection agency. So I just fucking better pay that fucker up. I think that four are um. But I'm fucking getting a fucking maybe drop down with a little bit of fucking hoedown fucking later. 40, 45 seconds of pain doesn't sound like that much to to, to deal with if you're going to get some kind of medical procedure. Say fucking what? You're only in pain for 45 seconds. That's like not even that long. And then and then you... Then they, a you're, fucking bear fucking spray? Yeah, but maybe whatever it was was, was the anesthesia and it hurt you, but then you fell asleep and then they did the thing and then when you woke up you're fine. Doesn't sound like it was so bad. I don't know why it's so. Why you think it's so horrible? I think it was fucking quite torturous. But it was only forty-five seconds. Well, forty-five uh, seconds. You said forty-five seconds. For Not twenty-five. Forty-five. Forty-five and seconds. Even hey, fuck you. Yeah, okay. Um, you should never fucking stick that fucking spray in me. Is it better? Yeah. And not let me fucking know about it. Yeah. Because like I say, I not today. You don't worry about fucking today. You better worry about fucking tomorrow, motherfucker. <laughs> and then you got the bear spray and now you don't like communism. <laughs> I never really have quite like communism that much that I can say. Why? I've seen I've seen people trying to get away from communism and they shoot them in the fucking head. Yeah, why do you? I mean, if there was like if you're if you're not a rich person, then you shouldn't be so uh, against communism because you'll be uh, you'll do better because you're you're already. Say under, what? Like you're not gonna get rich if you go be communist. Yeah, but you're not gonna you're not rich already. You're gonna be. Look, you're probably going to starve, most likely. No, if you're poor and... <laughs> Unless you get to be one of the higher upper up, upper ups and... Actually, well, I don't know what the fuck ever they are. One well, of the people that does have money, well, fucking, they well connected, see? But if you ain't well connected, you just a fucking scum. Yeah, but you already are that. Like, you don't have any money right now, so you live in a trailer. So I think if you... <laughs> I'm free. Yeah. I can be any, I can go be a fucking pilot, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. I can go in the goddamn space. Shut the fuck up. You I can do anything I want. So you're doing what you what you what you want to be doing is pushing or punching and stacking and living in a trailer. That's what you want to do. Well, uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and to that point, I do have fucking people around me who got me pinned to the. Mm -hmm. My feet to the ground instead of fucking up in space. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you can. I mean, yeah, you can I got my. Yeah. They tell you you can go to space and do all that stuff, but really you just end up punching and stacking and living in a trailer. Yeah, well, if you're gonna go be a communist, they're gonna tell you what to do and when to fucking do it. They do. They. they and you want to go on somebody else's schedule, or you just want to. Do whatever you want to do. How are you on your own schedule now that you're so free? You think you're so free? Like, what do you? You still gotta like go to your job, and if you don't go to that job where there's, uh, you know, diseases and you're hurting your body all the time, and I think like it would still. Be I'm also healing my body all the time. Yeah. I hurt myself. I fucking get better a little bit. Hurt myself. Get better a little bit more. Get hurt myself. Get a little bit better. What the fuck? Um, I want to record a message in the future. You stick that first spray in my arm, I want to kick your fucking ass. Hey, 
Hey, future, it's us the past. What do you have to say to the future? <laughs> oh, I, I really shouldn't say any more than that. Myself. Nothing myself. I don't want to say nothing. She so she doesn't like cash or communism. Laura was here, but she fell off the, the meat. Okay, bye, future. See, I prefer communism in the least. What about uh, what about cash? Do you, do you think they're going to try to take away your cash? That's what they said on the radio. They said, one guy said, hey, there you go, cash, let and take your property. Yeah, well, what what property are you wor so worried about having? You don't, you don't have property anyway. What are you talking about? They're going to go take okay, your... Okay, see, I, right this fucking second, don't have property. Yeah. So what are you worried about getting? How many away? Year, How many years are you gonna guarantee me that my mother is going to be alive? So you're waiting for your mother to die so you can get her property? I ain't waiting nothing. <laughs> well, then they're gonna take it, and then they're gonna take that property that your mom has. I think you don't have any property. You don't have to worry about it. Maybe you'll get some from other people, but. Shut the fuck up. People have a lot so of her, her, So she's going to die pretty soon. Within who knows how many years. Oh, hell, she could be living to be 110. Who knows? Yeah. I doubt it. She doubts it. Fucking far as I can tell. You got to get that property. You got to hold on to your mother's property. Um, What about cash? Like, what? I think if there's no cash, like, because cash is really dirty and, and it's spreading. And she's half ass thinking about signing it over to me because she's paying her ass. <laughs> yeah, and then they're going to take that property and what are they going to do with it? Give it to somebody they're else? They're going to die. Yeah. Because they ain't taking it. Who, and what's like, why are they telling you about this, like trying to tell you about taking your property? Because that's like, I don't know. What, what, what about, ca like when they take the cash, like cash is dirty. That's why they want to go cashless because because like, um, especially right now, it's spreading the diseases. Like they want to go like to cards and stuff. You don't use cards? Oh. Well, Mr. Higginsu went away. I don't know if it was because of the, uh, uh, if he's offended or if he's, uh, uh, he lost reception or phone service. Oh. Hello. Okay, you were breaking up. Uh, like, you know, dang it, okay. Uh, I got my, my phone charged a little bit. I was talking about uh, your cash, like, because cash is dirty. They want to go to car cards, I think, right? You don't like the cards? I want something I can take to a drug deal that's private. It's not public. <laughs> yeah, I guess. And, you be and, and be able to use my money to exchange for something that nobody else should see. Maybe you gotta do and, you gotta start and, they, and that they should not be tracking over a credit card to my name yeah. and know where all my drugs are. You who are buying you. drugs. Maybe they should legalize the drugs. They already did in Oregon. You said, you said they did. They did. So what are you worried about? Oh, fuck you. There ain't no way you fucking throw that on a credit card. But if you it's have, fun. maybe I think in the, with the drug, with the drug thing, you could get a, you, without cash, then they would have like, you could get like a card that was like cash, but it's just a card. And then you just give them the card and it's not connected to you. Like you go buy this card and then the card's not connected to you necessarily. It's just got like money on this card. That's the fuck up. That's the same thing as money. That's it's, cash. It's, That's basically. It's changing it. It's changing it. It's like, or, or, is the federal government involved anymore? What the fuck? You want fuck you, you want the federal government? Is all that gold? Well, is all where's all that gold? Is attached to the fucking? Does that have the same rules as the motherfucking money? Because if it doesn't have the same rules as the motherfucking money, that gold is long gone. I think there's like so much more money in the world than gold. There's gold. And whenever the, and whenever the computer takes a shit, what are you gonna do? You're SOL. Well, if, so if, I got, if, if you the, got money, you can do whatever you want. If the computers oh. do that, then then cash is you're not gonna be able to use cash anymore anyway. It's all on That's the. That's up I am too. It's People almost take well, it. not everybody's gonna take the cash because if there's no more computers, it's nope, like already. Don't take the cash. If they don't take the cash, I'll kill them. <laughs> yeah, and then you just get on. They 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 be communist. They need to get the fuck out of here. And you just go around killing everybody. But cash is you dirty. Need you need to get the fuck out of here. You ain't taking cash. You better leave. You're in the wrong fucking country. Cash is dirty. 
cash is fine. I haven't been talking about what's happening. Wash your fucking hands. Yeah. Uh, in the future, the movies, they always never have the cash, but I don't even use... I mean, I haven't, especially recently, but I don't use cash that much anyway. Most people are using the you cards. You want to start a civil war? Uh, go cashless. <laughs> you want to start a war over civil cash? Because you like the cash so much. Do you want, do you want to start a civil war? Yeah. Take my property. Go start a civil war. Well, if you, you want, we just take it mine. You'll be taking everybody. You don't have you don't have property or cash. Like I know you don't. Shut like, the fuck up! You just you just, you just, you just, you just fucking hear a fucking thing I said. You don't just have that stuff, so I don't know what you're worried about getting taken away. What is that fucking thing you call a pile face? Yeah. What'd you eat for dinner? <laughs> I'm already. She, she told me it's mine already. Except for, I really. She not want me. I don't want it anyway. But you take it from me, motherfucker. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you got that? Take away that the thing you don't even have. To it. Yeah, you don't huh? ha- you don't have any money or property, so I don't know why you would be worried about losing things you don't even have. Well, right, exactly. As soon as I have the property, I'm gonna have money, and that's way more than I fucking need. Fuck off. That's a yeah. Uh, okay. What what <laughs> what what else? What have you been doing? How how are you doing in general? Other than this cash thing, because that seems like you're attached to your cash. I don't know about cash, but. Say what? What'd you eat for dinner? Spaghetti? I didn't eat dinner. Why? Because I'm pissed the fuck off. You're pissed off about the bear? I am fucking hurt. Maybe if you, maybe you're hangry. If you ate dinner, maybe you'd feel better. Well, maybe if they'd pay me, I'd fucking have my fucking money, and then I'd fucking have something to eat. You don't have enough money to eat food? That's fucking great. Then maybe <laughs> you should be going communist and then you get the money. At least they give you some bread. Some communist has my fucking check right now. As far as I know. Who? Maybe that's maybe, uh, a little harsh, but fucking, that's the way I'm fucking feeling whenever I'm hungry, motherfucker. You're, you're, you, I fucking you, you, like you, it. You need f- money to eat food? Are you doing okay? Are you? How come your job? Aren't you working? I spent all my money. Um, what? <laughs> People fucking around me, fucking. Yeah, maybe it sounds like you need to go on, on like food stamps or something. You gotta eat food. Oh, I if I could get my paycheck. Why can't you get your paycheck? You're working and they're not even getting paid? Because they fucking... Uh, I can't remember what the fuck they gave me some excuse, but fucking tomorrow I get paid. They're not, not paying They're not paying you at your job? No, they're paying me. Oh. It, anyway, the fucking thing it is, fucking, I'm miserable. And I'm broke, and I'm going, this fucking sucks. Yeah, so you think the system's working out for you? You don't want to change the system? The system it, the, and it might be the same people fucking with me. It was fucking with that other guy that I won't pull the gun on, see. Who's that? The, the doctor? And, well, whenever I almost pulled the gun on that one guy, that's, that was... So that, that fucking thing might be coming around, and so I'm better fucking, I'm, I'm, some people just understand, I'm fucking, look, watch you, watch me, watch you, watch me, motherfucker. What's, so, what, what's just the keep that in fucking mind, whenever you're fucking doing your little bullshit. What's, what's the gun thing? You pulled a gun on some, tried to pull a gun on somebody? I was almost, they had me pretty fucking close to it. Oh fuck, my phone's dying again, so oh. this time I'm gonna go plug it in. If I lose you, I'm leaving. Alright, yellow phone. Okay. Hello. Hello. Right. Yellow fellow just joined on the meet. Hey yellow fellow, what's oh, going hi. down, motherfucker? Oh hey man, how you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good except for my battery going. Oh I'm gonna lose reception here in a second. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Remember, like two two or three days ago, you, Mr. Ginsu said, "Say hi to Yellow Fellow on the message." <laughs> yeah, I remember that. You there? I think yeah, we lost him. Yeah, yeah, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I think we lost Mr. Ginsu. Oh, oh, that was Mr. Ginsu. Yeah. Oh, hey, Mr. Ginsu, you there? I think he, I think he lost reception like he said he was going to. <laughs> I think we just, <laughs> we just lost him. Yeah. I joined at a good time, I guess. Yeah. Mr. Ginsu yeah. is, <laughs> he's mad about, um, communism. He's like, I don't like communism. They're gonna take the property, uh, but he doesn't have any property. <laughs> oh man, I, I wish I could have um been on the phone. I have been on earlier when he was going on that rant. That would have been fun. Yeah. He's like I gonna... always miss Dan I always I always miss the Mr. Ginsu moments. I'm I'm never on the i I'm, I'm never on the show when he's talking to you guys. Well in the past when you were on the phone then you couldn't have been. Mm. That's right. I think it's only been a possibility like this year. Yeah. For me to even somewhat cross paths, so, yeah. Yeah. I think um, we were just both like somewhat aware of each other before. <laughs> yeah, just like me. Te it's just like tell, like literal telephone. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, how are you? Um, what are you doing? We only got about five minutes left. You know, you called the very end of the show. Oh, I know. Uh, it's I, it's funny that he's known about me since 2016, though. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess I have too. But oh yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just got back from work. Uh huh. Uh. Not too long ago, just been winding down. I had some uh, Lay's. Have you ever had the dill pickle flavored Lay's chips? Uh, I think I've tasted them. I don't think I like them that much. Oh, I like them. But yeah. yeah, I was just working tonight. Um, just working. Did you did you a... buy the dill pickle flavor like on purpose? No, my mom got them. Uh, my mommy. Oh, <laughs> thanks, mommy. I like um. Uh... Let's see. I don't know, just like sour cream and onion. Oh, you know what? Jalapeno ranch Oof. is a really good flavor. Oof. I don't. I'm not a ranch fan, and I'm not a. I would probably like that in chip form. Jalapeno ranch. That sounds good. Yeah. Remember when Lay's had all the like? They had like French toast. Yeah. Like, that all lit, pretty much tasted like lay, salt. But... Yeah, that was that was that was a little too much. That was like because the, they were trying to get people to vote. Vote for yeah, things. They... They were going off like they were. It was like meme flavor time. Yeah, I we don't have time for that now. It's COVID. We yeah, just wanna... right. I was, I was, that's what I was thinking too. It's just like the world was full of whimsy. <laughs> like, remember mm -hmm. when when it could be like the big news, like, hey, what's the news? Like, oh, well, Lay's just made macaroni and cheese flavored potato chips. Yeah. Like, whoa. If there's ever first, if there's ever a sign that civil <laughs> civilization's about to crumble, that would be it. Yeah. Well, it was just like, hey, we're just like doing, or like. The big news is like maybe like a celebrity died or something like that. Any, any yeah. of this stuff and now. Yeah, we were all we were all begging for a comet to come hit us in the midst of all that. Yeah, if we we're being honest know. with ourselves. We didn't know that that was the news. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I I have been on. To talk about something important. Yeah. Um, well. I want to call, I, I've, I call I've my been grandma. really into uh, mozzarella sticks lately. Uh huh. Yeah, and you're making them, or they're. No, I've been getting them from work. So what? It's just like, you just, you just take like cheese, and then you just like r run it through like egg wash and flour and stuff, and you deep fry yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, I think my place just gets them frozen though. Oh yeah, you don't even. <laughs> no, but it's everything I want. It's fine. It's good. Um, yeah. Fried cheese. You ever just like take a piece of cheese, put it on the grill? No, I don't have that time. Um, no, I don't do stuff like that at home. I'm only I only destroy my body with food when I'm out. Yeah. And about. I don't really eat cheese, and now especially now that I'm not eating out as much, I really don't eat any cheese at all. Yeah. I only eat it with like pizza, really. But, well, uh, and fried cheese. Yeah. What what's uh what was the show like tonight? You talked to Mr. Ginzo. You talked yeah, to Yeah, I do. Else? I want to call my grandma though. I'm gonna call grandma because the show's almost over. Okay. Okay, I'm calling grandma. Yeah, we talked to Mr. Ginzo for a long time. Laura was there. Laura has squirrels in her bed. Laura, who's Laura? Laura's. Laura was calling this year and then didn't call for a 
couple of months and not called again today. Oh, that rain's really oh, loud. Hi. Can't... Hello? Hi. Hi, Grandma. How are you? Oh. I'm okay. Uh, I don't think you nobody here. Yeah, I'm calling to see how you're doing. Huh? I'm calling to say hi to you. Oh, I'm okay. That's good. You got water? You drinking water? Yeah, you I got... try to. Go get it out of the garage. Huh? Go get some out of the garage and drink it now. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to see you. Today is Sunday. Sun what day today? Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, three more day, huh? Yeah. Okay, then. Thank okay. you, Kurt. You, you, you doing okay, huh? I'm doing okay. Good. Hope to see you soon. Okay, see you soon. Go get water. Uh, okay, how are you? I'm looking forward to see you, okay? Okay. Take care of yourself. You too. Good night. Good night. Yeah, Laura's got, oh, the, the show's about over, but I'll talk to you for like another minute or so. But the the, the yeah. squirrels are in the wall, and uh, like like rats, but squirrels. You ever heard of that? Squirrels in the wall? I think I have, actually. You got squirrels? Um, no, I think I've heard of that being a thing. Yeah? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, where sh wait, Laura, I've never heard of a Laura. Laura, Laura. is in Lacey, Lacey, which is like one town over. Oh, okay. Um, Maybe I have her. But do you have, is there, you got squirrels in Pennsylvania? Hmm. Yeah, we do. Yeah, my brother, um, I always think about my brother when I see a squirrel or hear about a squirrel. Because my brother has always had a thing for squirrels. At a young age. What kind of, you just like squirrels? Like... He just really likes squirrels, yeah. Don't really know why, but I saw a squirrel hop along the road in front of my car before I took my driver's test and I was like oh that's a good luck squirrel oh that makes that me think that I almost hit a squirrel on my bike <laughs> like like a real squirrel yeah a real squirrel and like darted in front of me like like you would think that would happen in a car but this happened on my bike like I really almost hit it I had to like s slam on my bike brakes which is a weird experience. Oh, I, thought you, I thought you said I thought you said you wanted to put a squirrel on your bike no, I almost hit. You I almost to... hit the squirrel. I almost ran over a squirrel because it ran on the sidewalk in front of me. So I, I thought pretty... you wanted to like. I thought you wanted to tape a squirrel down to your bike as a decoration or something. <laughs> it's like trying to get away, yeah, and yeah. it's just taped there. I tape them. Yeah, I turned my camera on because I'm going to show you this decoration squirrel. Oh, okay. Um, my mom has squirrels around because she thinks about my brother too. Oh. It helps her. That's yeah. it. That's the the ode to your brother in the statue. Yeah, sure is. There's more around the house, too. All right. Well, There's the show's over. TV. All right. I'm running the credits. Thanks, for th thanks Grandma. Thanks, Yellowfellow. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Mr. Ginsu. Here it is. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's Carl's song. You, you there, Yellowfellow? It's Thursday. Carl's song? This is Carl's song, yeah. We're on TCTV Channel 22, 11, 30, and 2 a.m. Carl made this song. YouTube backslash YDSWM. 360 Call me message. Get on TV. YDSWM.com to get on the meet. Yeah. Humanity, it's Carl. Oh, that's good. TC TV, LaBebe, Jordi Fabula, Soka Books, Stop the Pilot Com, Force Five Video, John Webster, Rebecca Mark the Guitar Player, Mountain Boards, Northwest, West, Western Ten, Washington State, USA, thank you, and visit you, you watching, thank you. Hell yeah, dog! Bye!